Once upon a time, there was a bear named Big Red Riding Roosevelt. Well, just Roosevelt, really. But everyone called her Big Red Riding Roosevelt because she wore a big red riding cape everywhere she went. Hi there. On this particular day, Big Red Riding Roosevelt was heading through the forest to bring some books to her grandmother, who was sick at home and resting in her. Oh dear, I've forgotten the word. What do you call the place where you lay down to rest when you're tired or sick? Can you shout it out for me? Oh, thank you. Bed. Thanks, friends. I'm going straight through the forest, and I won't dilly dally along the way. Little did Roosevelt know, someone else was in the forest that day. Boy, is it spooky in here or what? What was that? It's me, the big bad. Or the regular nice wolf. Why are you going through my forest today? I'm on my way to Grandmother's house to bring her books to... to... What do you do with books again? Shout it out, friends. Oh, right. Thank you. Books to read. Well, that's awfully nice of you. Wouldn't your grandmother also like some of these flowers? Hmm. I wasn't supposed to dilly-dally, but they are very beautiful. I'm sure it won't take long. Thanks for the idea. Have a nice day, Wolf. <laughs> now that the great big bear is distracted, I'll run ahead to the grandmother for a little snack. Meanwhile, Grandmother was in bed resting and feeling a bit bored. My, my. I wish I had something to do while I rest up. Oh, it sounds like I have a visitor. Hello? Who's there? It is I, your granddaughter, the bear. I've come to eat, er, I mean, visit you. That doesn't sound like Big Red Riding Roosevelt to me. I'd better hide. Grandmother, where are you? Wait, I hear someone coming. I'd better hide. Just at that moment, Big Red Riding Roosevelt came up the trail and saw her grandmother's door wide open. Well, that's odd. Grandmother usually leaves her door closed. I hope everything is all right. Grandmother? Grandmother, are you there? Well, the grandmother didn't speak up because she was afraid of the wolf. And the wolf didn't speak up because he was afraid of Big Red Roosevelt. So everything was... Hmm. How do you describe the sound of no sound at all? Do you know the word? I think it starts with S. That's it. Silent. Maybe Grandmother is feeling better and went for a walk. I'll just make myself at home. The walk through the forest made me very hungry. Mmm, Grandmother's cookies. What is that noise? What is that noise? Oh, I see. Someone else is very hungry. Can you guess who? Who's there? You can come out. There's plenty of cookies to... to... Oh, I'm so forgetful today. What's the word for when I have enough of something so I let someone else have some too? You know it. Share. Yes, to share. So come out and have some. Do you promise not to eat me? <laughs> Why would I eat you? I've got cookies. Wow, thank you. Oh, I was so hungry I could have eaten a grandma. Or, uh, I mean, uh, well, I was just very hungry. Well, that's who was pretending to be my granddaughter. Silly wolf, if you were hungry, all you had to do was... Oh my, 
Oh dear, what's the word for when you make a request? Do you know it? Say it out loud. Yes, it's ask. Next time, I promise I'll just ask. And so Roosevelt and the wolf shared a nice snack. Grandmother was happy to have books to read. And they all lived... Um... Oh no, not again. Something ever after? This one might be tricky. It means in a happy way. Yes, that's it. Happily. Wow, thanks for all your help today, friends. See you next time.